Hello, Lily here. Today we are starting with class 3, chapter 6 of your Log on to Computers textbook. The name of the chapter is File Management, Organization of Folders. Windows Explorer. You have already read about files and folders. Windows Explorer is a program in the Windows 7 operating system that is used in viewing and managing files and folders. Here are the steps to be followed to open the Windows Explorer. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on All Programs. Step 3. Click on Accessories. Step 4. Click on Windows Explorer. The Windows Explorer window appears. There are two pens in the Windows Explorer screen. The left pane on the or the navigation pane displays drives and folders. The right pane shows the folders and or files of the selected folder in the navigation pane. By default, the libraries folder is selected in the navigation pane of the Windows Explorer. Smart Byte In the left pane, single-click any folder to view its content, while in the right pane, double-click any subfolder or file to view its contents. Libraries the Libraries features of Windows 7 makes, to, makes it easier to see your files and arrange them by folder, date and other properties for faster access. There are four default libraries in Windows 7 – Documents, Picture, Music and Videos. For example, you can include all your music and sound files and folders in one library called Music. Creating a new folder To create a new folder, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Double-click on the computer icon. Step 2. Select the drive or folder from the navigation pane in which a new folder is to be created. And Step 3. Right-click on the selected drive or folder and select New, Folder option from the menu that appears or click on the New Folder button in the Windows Explorer window. Step 3. A new folder will appear in the right pane. You can change the folder name as per your choice and then press the enter key on the keyboard. You will find the required folder created in the right pane of the Windows Explorer. After creating a new folder, you can also rename it by doing right click and selecting rename. Now, creating a new file. In Windows 7, you can easily create a new file. For example, if you want to create a new file of Notepad, follow the given steps. Step 1. Right-click in the blank area of the desktop. Step 2. Select New. The Text Document option from the Context Menus appears. Or, Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click Select All Programs. Step 3. Click on the Accessories folder. Step 4. Select the Notepad option. Now saving a new file. In Windows 7, you can easily save a file. For example, if you want to save a Notepad file, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on the File menu. Step through. Click the Save option from the menu. The Save As dialog box will appear. Step 3. Select the location where you want to save the file. Step 4. 
Type the file name in the file name box and step 5, click the save button. Opening an existing file or folder. You can double click on a file or folder to open it. There is an another way to open a file. For example, if you want to open the notepad file, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Open the notepad program. Step 2. Click on the file menu. Step 3. Click the open option. The open dialog box will appear. Step 4. Locate the file to be opened. And step 5. Click on the open button. Desktop Gadgets Windows 7 contains many programs called gadgets. They not only provide information at a glance, but also provide easy access to frequently used tools. Gadgets can be adjusted anywhere on the desktop. To add a gadget to the desktop, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Right-click on the desktop and select the Gadgets option. A set of 9 gadgets appears. Step 2. Double-click on the gadget to add it to the desktop. The following shows the details of common desktop gadgets. So common desktop gadgets are Calendar Displays day, date, month and year on your desktop in two views Date Flipper and Date and Month Flipper Clock Shows time in your own time zone or for any city in the world CPU Meter Displays usage of CPU and RAM. Currency displays equivalent of one currency to those of the other currencies. Requires active internet connection for its operating. Feed headlines. Display current and updated news and blogs distributed by various websites. Requires active internet connection for proper operation. Picture Puzzle A puzzle game you can play. In this puzzle, a picture is cut into small squares. One square is left blank. Squares are scrambled. Your objective is to move the squares one at a time using the blank square to complete the picture. Slideshow displays a slideshow of pictures continuously. Weather Shows the current weather conditions of a selected place, requires internet for operating as updations and received from the internet. Windows Media Center displays the Windows Media Center. You can play music and videos in this gadget. All gadgets functions in a similar way. You should spend some time getting familiar with these gadgets. Now recall time. In Windows 7, Windows Explorer is used in viewing and managing files and folders. The Windows Explorer screen is divided into two panes, left pane or navigation pane and right pane. In Windows 7, the Libraries features make it easier to see your files and arrange them by folder, date, and other properties for faster access. Gadgets are many programs which provide information at a glance and provide easy access to frequently used tools. Tick the correct option. Which side pane of the Windows Explorer is known as the navigation pane? Left pane. 2. You can double click on a file or folder to open it. 3. Many programs in Windows 7 which give information at a gallons are called gadgets. 4. Which gadget displays the continuously moving side slides of pictures? Slideshow. 5. A clock is an example of gadget. Fill in the blanks using the words given in the clue box. Number 1. 
The library's feature of Windows 7 makes it easier to view files and arrange them by folder and other properties of faster access. 2. By default, the library's folder is selected in the navigation pane of the Windows Explorer. 3. The New Folder button in the Windows Explorer window creates a new folder. 4. The Save option opens the Save As dialog box to select the location and type the desired file name to save it. And 5. The CPU Meter gadget displays the usage of CPU and RAM. Match the following. Number 1 is D. Show continuous slides of the pictures. Number 2 shows time. Number 3 shows the current and updated news and blogs. Number 4 plays music and videos. And the last one shows the current weather conditions. Tick the correct statements and cross out the incorrect ones. Number 1. To create a folder, Click on the Open option under the File menu. True. 2. You cannot change the folder name during the creating of a new folder. False. Number 3. You can include all your music and sound files and folders in one library called Music. True. Number 4. To open the Windows Explorer, click on the Start button, All Programs, Accessories, Windows Explorer. True. And the last one is gadgets cannot be adjusted anywhere on the desktop. False. Answer the following questions. You'll refer to the notebook. Question number one is What is Windows Explorer? How is it opened in Windows 7? The answer is Windows Explorer is a program in the Windows 7 operating system that is used in viewing and managing files and folders. Following steps to be followed to open the Windows Explorer. Number 1. Click on the Start button. 2. Click on All Programs. 3. Click on Accessories. and 4. Click on the Windows Explorer. Number 2. What is the library's features? Give examples. The answer. The library's features of Windows 7 makes it easier to see your files and arrange them by folder, date, and other properties for faster access. There are four default libraries in Windows 7. 1. Document, 2. Music, 3. Picture, and 4. Video. Question number 3. What are the two ways of opening an existing file? Answer number one, double click on a file to open it. Number two, open the application. For example, if you have created the file in the notepad, so open the notepad program, click on the file menu, click on the open option, locate the file to be opened and click on the open button. Question number four. How do you save a file? Explain it with an example. The answer is, click on the file menu. Number two, click the save option from the menu. Select the location where you want to save the file. Type the file name in the file name box. Click the save button. And the last question is, what are gadgets? Name some gadgets and their functions. Answer is, gadgets are mini programs which provide information at a gallons and provide easy access to frequently asked to use tools. The examples are CPU meter, displays usage of CPU and RAM, and slideshow displays a slideshow of pictures continuously. So if you enjoyed my video, do like, share, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.